Hello out there, legal warriors. What happens when you get arrested? That's a question you may be interested in. Plenty of my clients are. And so if you're interested in that subject, this is the video for you. So stay tuned. My name is Lance Fryer. I'm a criminal defense attorney in Linwood, Washington. I have a law firm that's been defending people charged with crimes for more than 20 years. And a lot of people want to know what happens when you get arrested. Uh, we get people calling us up, you know, hey, the officers are looking for me. Do they have a warrant? Uh, what will happen if I get arrested? And so uh, there's not a lot of information out there about these things. So I'm going to cover that right now about what will happen if you get arrested. So before I jump into things, if you find this useful, please like and please subscribe. More people will get the information they need. So what happens when you get arrested? Well, it depends. Of course, you know, you know, defense attorneys are always going to say it depends, but it does. But there are some commonalities. Um, let's talk about if you get arrested out of your car. You know, you're driving, it's reckless driving, it's DUI. If you get arrested, most likely they're going to tow your vehicle. Uh, in some cases now they need to give you a chance to have someone come. So your vehicle is going to get towed to an impound lot. Um, you are going to get handcuffed. Um, you are going to get taken to a jail and you're going to get searched. They're going to search you and your property. If you have any drugs or anything on you, they're going to find it and there could be more charges. Um, they're going to take anything you had on you and they're going to log it into your property. Uh, hopefully you've got your cell phone, your wallet, uh, things like that. And then they're going to put you in whatever uh, holding area they have for someone who has just been arrested. In some cases, an officer will have the discretion to book you, which means taking your fingerprints, often electronically, um, and your photograph. We've all seen what a mugshot looks like. They, they can book you and release you after you've been arrested. Um, or in many cases, they're going to book you and hold you in the jail uh, for bail. And in some cases, there won't be a bail or bond. The court will have to set it, and you might have to be in there for a few days. Um, once you're arrested, um, uh, you need to follow the rules because jailers deal with a lot, right? Um, they don't uh, really uh, abide any type of what they would say would be nonsense. And um, uh, you're going to definitely want to see if you can contact a loved one. Oftentimes you can. There's often jail phones and you're going to want to let someone know where you're at. But what you don't want to do is talk about the facts of the case. You can say I got arrested for DUI or for assault, whatever it might be. But don't talk about, yeah, but I only hit her in the face. Or, yeah, you know, I only had five beers. Okay, because those calls from the jail are recorded and they will be used against you. So if you get arrested, you're going to be taken to a jail. Your property is going to be held. You will have an opportunity to talk to a lawyer and hopefully someone on the outside. It may take several hours so before you have that opportunity. And you want to be careful on that phone call and realize hopefully you won't be there that long. So that's one thing that happens when you get arrested physically. Another thing that happens when you get arrested is unfortunately, you're, if you're fingerprinted, this is the way I think about it, if you're fingerprinted, that arrest record is gonna show up on your official record, okay? If you just get arrested and handcuffed and detained temporarily, but they never take you in for fingerprints, they never put you in the jail, that's not gonna show up on your official criminal history. Your official criminal history is maintained by the Washington State Patrol. If you want to look up your official criminal history, you need to go to the Washington State Patrol website, and, and there's an acronym called WATCH, Washington Access to Criminal History, W-A-T-C-H. Costs around $11, $12. You can type your name in, and you'll get an instant record of you or anybody else. And it will show convictions, and it will show arrests. But arrests are based upon times you're fingerprinted because... That's how the system is run, you know, to make sure the person arrested is who we think they are. So um, we get questions all the time. Will this show up on my record? Well, if you're arrested with fingerprinting, unfortunately, the consequence of the arrest is it's not going to be invisible now. Even if no charges are ever filed, even if a case is dismissed, it's still going to show up there. There's things you could do to uh, delete that non-conviction data later. It takes years, and we have some videos on our channel about that. Um, there's a form you can get, but remember, that is also a consequence of arrest. Um, what else will happen uh, if you get arrested? Um, if you get arrested, 
you may be charged with a crime right then and there. And if you are charged with a crime and you get arrested, you may go to court while you're in custody. You don't need to panic in that case and try to find a private defense attorney, though it's not a bad idea to have one. But oftentimes, a public defender will do just fine and even really do a good job on a jail calendar because they handle it so much. They know what the court is thinking because they handle it so often. Um, they're going to have a chance to talk to you about, um, do you have a good address? Do you have a good job? Do you have ties to the community? These are things that are going to be considered after your arrest when they're considering to release you or not if you're already charged with the crime. So if you get arrested, what might happen is you'll have a court date. And again, important not to say anything about the facts of the case uh, because anything you say can be used against you and there's a bunch of law enforcement there. But if you get arrested, you may have a court date. Finally, hopefully what happens if you get arrested is you're going to get released, right? Let's say they booked you in the jail and you get released. Uh, it can be difficult to figure out what to do and it can be scary, right? Uh, we've, we've had plenty of people uh, relate to us, hey, I got released at three in the morning, you know, and I, I, I've never been arrested before and my cell phone is dead. Um, so what do I do? Well, you know, you got to do your best in that situation. You can try to go back into the lobby and ask to use the phone, try to be polite, try to be nice, but you're typically going to be released with the property that you had on you unless they're holding that property for evidence, which usually isn't the case. A standard arrest, they're not going to need to keep your cell phone or, or your wallet or things like that. So if you're getting arrested, I should point out, you know, ask the officer to turn off your phone. Can you turn it off altogether so I've got some battery when I get out so I can call a loved one or I can get an Uber or something to get home? These are practical things you need to consider if you get arrested. But you're going to get released most likely either with or without a bond. And then you want to be thinking, well, what are my next steps? How do I get home? And, and you need to protect yourself. So those are some things you could expect if you get arrested. How do you avoid getting arrested if you're looking at some problems with the law? Well, officers have discretion, you know, to, to either arrest and release or arrest and book. So the more cooperative you are, you don't have to admit to things, but you know, don't cuss them out and don't be a jerk and uh, try to be respectful. Uh, you know, do your best. You're going to be more likely to have an arrest situation and a release than an arrest and having to wait in the jail. Um, so I hope that's helpful. If so, please like and please subscribe. And if you find yourself in problems with the criminal law, feel free to give my office a call. Again, my law firm's been defending people charged with crimes for more than 20 years. Um, we handle all types of criminal charges all throughout Washington State. We'll listen to what happened. We'll identify a way forward and we'll be there for you. Thank you.